this time. Everyone who loves and believes in me, do you believe this? On this day, and believe, we receive the top of late Mr. Kanye Olushola Afolabi for burial with prayers for the children and family. That we and they may have assurance of eternal life, which Jesus brought into the world for us all. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he was yet shall he, and whoever believes and believes in me, never die. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. When we do not say, for what I have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my death once destroy this body, yet shall I see them, whom I shall see. For my I shall be whole and not be the need of it, no night, no angels, no principalities, no past, no things present, no things to come, no height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to celebrate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we need him or all
this level of service. We commiserate with the entire Malawi family for the transition of our late brother, which is the third generation of Malawi. We extend the same condolences of the entire Malawi family. The wife, the children, the mother, the son, the daughter, the daughter, the daughter, the daughter, how many people today are you adding values to their lives? For some who continue to defraud others, cheat others, people would rather curse them than thank God for meeting them. Is your life adding value to others? This man. Or this tree was just using up the ground. And the owner said, Why should he continue to use up the ground for nothing? He now decided or gave an instruction that it should be cut down. It is to remind us that all of us will be accountable to God for our lives. We can't escape it. You know that as Nigerians, we are extremely smart people. And there are rules in this country that, as Nigerians, we can always get around it. But when we get to the other side, no matter how smart we are as Nigerians, none of us will be able to beat God out. We will not be able to outsmart Him. That we don't make none of us will be accountable for our lives. So there is need for us, both young and old, to ask ourselves, how am I living my life? He pleaded with the, with, with the you know, owner. He said, just let it alone for another one year. I will dig around it. I will fertilize it. I will water it. If it brings some fruit, well, but if not, then you can cut it down. It's not impossible that the favor, the benefits of life that you are receiving today is an extra grace from God because he's expecting you to turn a new leaf. Or we sit and hell. Hell is real and heaven is real. And each of us will choose our eternity. Therefore, I want to, as I begin to wind down, and I pray, I want to appeal to you to reflect on your life and think of where you want to spend your eternity. And that sister, we want to assure you of God's presence. The truth is that this is an event or incident that is quite painful. The loss of a husband and father and somebody that has become so close over the years. But nothing happened to us without God's knowledge. Shortly before this sermon, we have sang the song that is well put and soul. That was written by Orajul this Papot. The man that wrote the hymn was a lawyer in Chicago in the 70s journey. The man had a very big estate, but the estate was wiped off by an infarct or was a fire incident that brought down the entire estate. And while the man was trying to recover from the loss of that terrible fire accident, his only son died. It was so tragic for the family. He now decided that he should take a break, travel out of town to England, on holiday with the family, with the wife and the four daughters left 
so that they could get over, they could mourn the loss of their son and get over the sad incident. At that time, we don't have the privilege of traveling by air like we do now. So they travel by sea. Travel in the ship. But because of the late uh, time kind of business deal, Mr. Orachuji's staff couldn't travel with the wife and the daughters. He needed to see the business deal. And he told the wife, because they had put their tickets, to travel with the four daughters and that he would join them very soon in England. The wife, Mrs. Papa, traveled with the four daughters. On the high sea, there was an accident. Two ships collided. And in a matter of minutes, water, water entered into the ship. It sank. The four daughters died. But the words on record of Mrs. Papa said, shortly before that happened, <coughs> They all had hands because it was a family of Christians where they prayed. She had hands with her four daughters and they committed themselves to God's hands. But when rescuers came and they were trying to rescue people, at the end of the day, none of the four daughters was found alive. They all died. And at that time, we don't have the privilege of the telephone, the cell phone that we use now to communicate. It was the telegram that you were using that time. And those of us who are old enough to know about telegram, you want to make it your message as short as possible. So, Mrs. Smartford sent a telegram to the husband back in the US at the shore in England. Say hello. That was just the message. Say hello. Immediately, Mr. Swafford received that message. He understood what it meant. So, he quickly decided to get into the boat as well, to the ship as well, to travel to meet the wife. And while on the sea, the sailors stopped at a particular point and told Mr. Swafford that the ship that was conveying the wife and the daughter sank around the spot. The man looked up. And in his moment of meditation, that word dropped on his heart. It is what we have so. So he later composed the words of that song. So then we sing the song and we smile, but it was actually manufactured in a crucible of fire. It was very, it was like a deep cut in the heart of that man when the message came. And today so that is a name that has been blessing thousands and millions of men. Many, several millions of people find encouragement from that thing that came as a result of the death of those for French of the They were never married. They were all young girls. Maybe the eldest was just a teenager. And they had to start all you. It was on record that when even people, friends, gathered together to visit them in the UK, they were challenged by the kind of faith expressed by Mrs. Spafford. Even though it was a very terrible, agonizing event in their life, yet because of their strong faith in the never failing ability of God, they found strength and courage to keep going in the midst of their challenges. And their sister, the Lord will stand right here. Surrounding in the name of Jesus. Children, we want to encourage you to find strength. In God, put your trust and confidence in Him. He never fails. He is a father to all of us. Even those of us that have our earthly fathers, He's still the greatest father. 
is the one that can keep watch over you. He's the one that can help you navigate the challenges of life, the wilderness of life successfully. And we want to assure you that his light will shine on your part of life. Yeah. You will not fall by the wayside. Yeah. The enemy will not outwit you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. no counsel of hell will succeed over your life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, Dr. Taiwa Falami will want to encourage you to find God. Definitely we know this is a very personal loss to you because we are talking about a twin brother here. By the same place, and you have grew up, you grew up over the years, playing together, exchanging, you know, pleasantries and all the rest for the last 60 years. But we are trusting that God in his mercy will stand by you. He will comfort and encourage you. In the name of Jesus. Your strength will not fail. The grace that you need to move forward from here below will release upon you. His light will shine on your path. In the name of Jesus. These children, that's it one that your brother has left in your care. The Lord will keep watch over them. Yeah. Over all these children, you will not have reason to sorrow. Yeah. Your health will not break down. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. No organ of your body will malfunction. Yeah. No organ will must help. Your identity will be your portion. Yeah. And it shall be well with you. Yeah. Shall be well with your wife. Yeah. Shall be well with your family. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Therefore, we want to encourage you to trust the Lord for the years ahead. He's a father that never fails. Yes. There are things that happen in life we may not be able to provide sufficient explanation. But by and by, when we get to heaven, there is a song that says, when we get to heaven, we will be able to tell the story how we overcome. In all the challenges, I've missed all the challenges and chances of life. The Lord will give you the victory. Yeah. He will daily fight your battle yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And the Lord will empower you for the task ahead in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You to continue to put your trust and confidence in this God. He never fails. Challenges will definitely come and will come our way in life. We are not immune from them. And God has not promised us that while we are passing through this wilderness, we will not face challenges. Even the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. For all of us who are here, it doesn't matter the kind of challenge or the situation that you have found yourself today. Those who are in difficult situations, challenging situations, today by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I pray that the Lord will make ways for you. In the name of Jesus. We cancel them over you in the name of Jesus. Inherited problems that has been shining on your way to progress today in command that the fire of the Holy Spirit will consume them. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will give you the victory. He will grant you success. He will keep watch over you. You will succeed. You will make it. And at the end of the day, you will look back with the heart of gratitude. The only honor shall be yours, and the blessings shall be yours.